Hey, everyone. Ether Gazer just released a statement regarding English voice acting in the game. The TLDR is that they've decided to reduce English voiceovers in the game. The story will no longer be an English dub, but characters will still have English voice lines. I'm not 100% sure if this means new characters will get English voice lines, or if only characters that already had English voice lines will keep their English dialogue. We'll have to wait and see. Regardless of which it is, this is pretty unfortunate. Some of you may be wondering why they made this decision, and here are the most logical reasons that I can think of. Firstly, it could be as they said, not many people use the English voice actors. If that's the case, then they have 100% made the correct decision here. If the data shows only a small number of people are using it, I don't know the percentage, but let's say it's 10% of players or less, it wouldn't be fair for the 10% who do like it to expect them to spend thousands of dollars on voice actors and countless hours meeting with voice actors, recording, re-recording, and editing. They could be spending that time on more pressing matters, like adding a sweep option to resource stages. This just means they have one less thing to worry about and maybe we'll get faster update cycles, since they no longer need to do the VA for story missions. Secondly, it could be a combination of low player usage and file size. I recently changed my emulator to the English version of Moomoo, and you may have noticed the characters in my last video are using the original CN dub. I didn't even notice until I was editing. To download the Japanese voice pack was over three gigabytes. Three gigabytes may not seem like a big deal to you PC players, but to a mobile player, that is the difference between life and death. As the game goes on and more voice lines are added, that size will only grow to an even bigger number. Thirdly, this could be a monetary issue. They might be doing this to cut costs. I really hope this isn't the reason, and they are doing well financially, but it's a fair concern for some to have. If that's the problem, then, of course, reducing English is the only real solution. As a free-to-play player, my opinion on the game's financial issues may seem pretty pointless to most. I don't spend on the game not because I wouldn't, but because what they are trying to sell me isn't worth their asking price to me. I've spent a fair amount of money in these types of games in the past. Somewhere along the line, I realized spending money for a 0.6% chance to gain something was a stupid endeavor. I was faced with an impossible choice. I could spend $200 to guarantee myself this anime girl, just ones and zeros in a server somewhere, or I could give that same $200 to a real human being who is literally dying of starvation. This isn't to say I wouldn't spend money on these games ever again. If the prices for outfits were fair, I would have bought several already. But $15 for a base outfit, and almost $25 for the ones with recolored effects. Brother, that is several Big Macs. When it's $5 for the base and $10 for recoloring, I'll be the first in line for that Osiris outfit. At the end of the day, I don't think this is a cause for concern. Honkai Impact and Punishing Grey Ravens have been operating without English VAs for a while now, and people are used to it. The localization was a big appeal to some people, and it did give Ether Gazer a special place in its genre. But this is definitely not a cause for concern regarding the game. What you should be worried about is how fast the next few update cycles will be as we rush to 3.0. Lastly, they did briefly mention the game's performance on PC. This is something they have been working on for some time now, and we still have no ETA on that, so I'll keep you posted. That's all for now. Peace.